What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can clean out our temporary folder on our computer which gets full of rubbish and crud that we don't want on our system because it can grow in size quite considerably over a matter of time. Now CCleaner and stuff like that will clean all this out for you uh, but you can use a bat file to clean all this stuff out okay, on boot up and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first off, let's go to our run here. We can right click on the, and we're on Windows 8.1 here. We can right click here and go run. And uh, you want to type in there the percentage app data percentage. And this will open up this area here. We can click on the app data up the top here. And as you can see here, we've got the good old local and roaming. So if we take a look at roaming here, go Microsoft and uh, Windows, start menu, programs and then start up this is where we're going to need to put our bat file in here to to run from okay and it will run from here when we boot up the system anything we put in here will generally start up because it's our startup folder okay so what we're going to do it's going to go back and if we go back to this area and go local and then temp this is where you're going to have all your rubbish and uh, and stuff that gets built up here okay now sometimes you can clean this out. I've just put a load of uh, general stuff in here just to because this is a virtual machine. But you'll have heaps of stuff in here. I've seen this in the gigabytes where people don't clean it out. Okay, so let's just uh, create a file. So first off, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to this location just to show you where it gets created. Okay, so I'll leave this open. As you can see, it's empty. So we'll go down here. And we're going to open up Notepad. I'm just going to right click on our start button here, go run, and we're going to type in here Notepad and then click OK. And this will open up our pad. So, what we're going to do here is put in a simple RD space percentage and then temp and then percentage like that space forward slash S space forward slash Q and then underneath. We're going to do MD and then space percentage and then temp and percentage and that's it. Now what we need to do here is save this into that location and you can do this little trick here. Save as and you can see it's going into the startup area here and it doesn't matter whether you was in the desktop or whatever. But what you can do here is just save this. Okay. Now you want to save it with this path. This path is where it's going to go. Okay, and it will put that clean temp dot bat file in there, which is this file we've just created. Click save, and then if we go back here, you'll see that file has now been created and put into that location. Now you can physically put it in there yourself if you want. It's just a little quick shortcut there to add that in. So once that's in there, now when we reboot our system, this is going to clean out our temp folder. So let's uh, close this off close that off we don't need that anymore and reboot our system and uh, we'll see whether it cleans it up now you can do this in Windows 7 also or any other type of Windows so we're just going to restart and we'll just let this boot up and there we are back at the desktop let's just click on our desktop tab here and what we want to do here is we're going to go back to the run area and uh, you can just use the pull down menu here it's already there click OK and uh, we'll go to Microsoft here and uh, let's see Windows start menu programs startup and you can see the file is still there and that's what it's going to be reading every time it boots up OK so let's go back to the local area here and temp and you'll see it's been emptied out and cleaned okay so what it's doing on boot up it's using that bat file to clean all the stuff inside here okay anyway that's about it for this video so quick and easy video very useful to do if you want to clear out that temp folder on boot up okay so my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos and uh, if you've got any problems with computers, you can always head over to the forum and join a community over there. Post your problems over there and we will do our best to get you back up and running. So thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend and look out for the uh, PC build that I've got coming up real soon. So thanks again. Bye for now.